go to Google and type Rathod's IAS. Then you can see our website Rathod's IAS Academy. There you have to click on login or register in the blue color. So if you have not registered yet, you have to click on do not have account and fill the details. So after once you have login, click on the courses. There you can see course list. And in this course list, you can see wide range of courses. Hi, this is Usha. Welcome to Rathod's IS classes. Today in this lecture, we are going to see current affairs of 5th June 2022. So first of all, I wish you a very happy environmental day for all of you. And today is prelims. So I wish you very all the best for the students who are going to give this year prelims. So now let's get started with our discussion and let us try to see the quote. So this quote, I think everyone might be knowing. So this quote is given by Subhash Chandra Bose and this quote it is regarding freedom. So he says give me blood and I will give you freedom. So this quote you will come across whenever you are reading modern history that too especially in our Indian freedom struggle. So now let us try to see first topic. So here don't skip the Sunday's newspaper because in Sunday's newspaper you can cover environment and ecology related current affairs and even science and technology related current affairs. So first topic it is about mini proteins. Okay first topic it is about mini proteins. So till now we know about what are proteins and what is the role of proteins and how these proteins are produced in body. So because of this COVID-19 yes we know that. And now this article says that mini proteins, they are helpful to fight this COVID-19. And now let us try to understand what is the mechanism that will be followed by this mini proteins. And we need to know whether this mini proteins only use it to fight this COVID-19 or whether there are any other applications. So this application point of view, you will get questions in your prelims. So if we're talking about context, it mainly says that Scientists from this IISC, that is Indian Institute of Science, they reported that a new class of artificial, they are not natural, they are artificial peptides. So they are also called as mini proteins. So here, new class of artificial peptides or mini proteins, so they will help to fight against this COVID-19. And whenever we are adding this mini proteins for this COVID-19 virus, so these viruses are becoming inactive. So in this way here, this mini proteins are helpful to fight against this COVID-19. So now let us try to see some details which are mainly given in this article. So here, this mini proteins, they will be mainly blocking this COVID-19 virus entering into the cell. So as you all know this COVID-19, okay, which is having surface proteins, okay, so these are for example, you can talk about the spike proteins. So these spike proteins, they will be coming and attaching to this ACE receptor and this ACP, ACE receptor, it is the entry, okay, entry or door of this virus to enter into our cell. So what happened whenever we are using this mini proteins, then they will be blocking this, okay. So this is about this topic so while blocking the entry of certain viruses into the cell so here whenever we are using this many proteins they will leads to clump they will leads to clump the virus particles together and that will finally reduce this infection levels as well so here this study which is mainly under trails in hamsters okay so in the trail they mainly shown good results and now researchers they are planning to bring out antiviral drug and this can fight against this COVID-19 and they're also going for testing for other applications even in the field of oncology. So oncology is nothing but the study of cancers. So we are having different types of cancers like blood cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, prostate cancer like that. Right. So here we are also going to see some applications even in this oncology as well. So if you're talking about some facts regarding this mini proteins, so they are helical. Okay. They are helical in structure and they are also having hairpin shaped peptides and they are having capability of pairing up with another of its kind forming that is known as dimer. Okay. That will form dimer. So for example, if you see this is a protein. 
okay so that will be forming the patches or clumps in the two sides it is called as a dimer so these bundles they have two identical faces and these two identical faces they will be having high affinity means that will be having high bonding capacity and they will be having extremely difficult to denature them when they bind to a target so whenever they are binding to target target then what happen if you want to remove them or denaturing them so it is a very very difficult so they also dimerize these targets as well so in this way here it is a one of the new mechanism of drug that we can see so here the part which is engaged in binding to cell is nullified so instead of virus attaching to to cell here it is mainly going inside the virus will clump this together so for example here we have this ace receptor so for example let us take this is our corona virus and this is spike protein so it is having two ends right so one end which is mainly attached to this spike protein and another end which is attached to this ace inhibitor so what have instead of this uh, virus which is entering into the cell here this many protein will be entered and it will be blocking this pathway so in this way it will be not allowing this corona virus to enter into our cell so this is the mechanism and if you see this is the image so here this is our corona virus and this is a genetic material that is rna and this red color balls that you can see they are spike proteins so normally antibodies they will be also attaching to the spike proteins and even nano bodies and even you can talk about mini proteins here they are blocking here and okay so in this way they are mainly blocking the entry of this virus into cells and now let us try to see next topic it is regarding operation blue star so tomorrow that is june 6th so june 6 it is a 38th so this year june 6 2022 it is a 38th anniversary of this operation blue star so especially students who started their preparation who are new to this news analysis and who are new to upsc preparation so they need to know about this operation blue star for sure okay so i will be explaining about this operation blue star now so this topic is important from your post independent india point of view and even from defense point of view in defense you can study about what are the different operations that are mainly done by india for protection of our territory sovereignty etc so if you see context it mainly says that ahead of 38th anniversary of this operation blue star your punjab's chief minister man he mainly reviewed the situation that is law and order situation in the state so if you are talking about details it mainly says that on june 6th on june 6 1984 so on that day our army had stormed into golden temple that is complex of har mandir sahib in amritsar to flush out extremist who are mainly led by one leader leader name is jarnail singh bindranwale okay jarnail singh bindranwale so he mainly leading extremist group and he mainly started this kalistan movement and if you are talking about this operation blue star so actually this name which is a code which is mainly given to an indian military operation to remove separatists who were hidden inside this golden temple in amritsar so this operation which mainly ordered by the then prime minister that is our indira gandhi and primarily to take even control of this golden temple so the indian military they entered into premises of this temple to drive out this sick extremist religious leader that is jarnail singh and his armored followers as well so operation had two important components first one is operation metal and next one is operation shop so operation metal it is regarding invasion of this temple complex and operation shop which was confined to country side of the state and finally this operation which mainly helped to eliminate this kalistani terrorism in india so what is the consequence so after few months of this operation blue star so one sick bodyguard of uh, indira gandhi he assassinated indira gandhi okay so this was consequence after this operation blue star and if you're talking about background regarding this jarnail singh bindran wale so he mainly wanted indian government to pass anandpur resolution and thereby his government of india need to agree for the formation of a separate state of kalistan for six so this was the demand 
and since 1982 here radical leader of sikkim uh, sikhism so here they had managed to gain enough support for his cause by mid 1983s and they later on set up a base inside this golden temple complex with ammunition with arms and his followers and later on this operation blue star was launched between 1st june to 6th june 1984 and the important aim it is to get rid getting rid of this person that is bindran wale and his demands and finally this operation which mainly resulted in the death of this bindran wale okay so this is about this topic in detail and now let us try to see next topic it is regarding surrogacy okay surrogacy law faces challenge in court okay to understand this you have to know what is the surrogacy regulation act of 2001 and some provisions of this act so if you see this infographic then you can understand what are the provisions of this surrogacy regulation act of 2021 so first of all you need to know about surrogacy so how many types of surrogacy will be there okay so surrogacy means nothing but if if you take example of myself i got married okay i got married and this is sixth year right which is running now so if i have no child so after 5 years i can go for this surrogacy so surrogacy means nothing but okay fetus which is mainly grown in other women womb so that is nothing but we are taking rent of a womb so if there is any abnormalities in my uterus if i am not uh, suitable for the conceiving and if i am not having kids then i can go for surrogacy so this surrogacy is a concept like nothing but renting of womb i am taking rent of another person womb okay so in that person wombs we are mainly inserting the inserting the blastocyst and after 9 months of pregnancy after delivery is done so i will be taking my baby and i will be paying some amount for that woman okay so this is the concept of surrogacy actually so if we talk about types of surrogacy we will be having commercial surrogacy second one is altruistic surrogacy so commercial surrogacy means nothing but i am going to take rent of women for for example i am giving the money like 5 lakhs 10 lakhs like that and i am taking the rent of a womb and this altruistic surrogacy i am not giving money okay but i will be ex- uh, i will be only having the charges like medical charges for that so and so women for that 9 months and even some insurance okay for that woman during this pregnancy time so i am not going to give any money for that okay so this is altruistic surrogacy so actually what happened in india we banned this commercial surrogacy so this act that is surrogacy regulation act of 2021 which mainly introduced to curb illegal okay unethical practices which are related to many issues regarding selection and as well as exploitation of the surrogate mothers so how exploitation is happening yes there are number of cases that you can see in newspaper and here and there and even there is a one uh, one ground story that mainly i saw in bbc uh, regarding this exploitation of the surrogate mothers so after once delivery is done okay after once delivery is done what happened so if if the if that surrogate mother gave birth to a baby child or a girl child means they are leaving that girl child with them itself if it is boy they they are taking this and if if uh, what happens surrogate mother gives birth to twins means they are taking only one baby and one uh, one baby will be left with her so in this way there are number of cases that i saw personally uh, in this uh, surrogacy and these are some important challenges that we need to address so because of this our government came up with the surrogacy regulation act of 2021 so under this act here it says that couple can opt for surrogacy only after medical grounds that they are going to they are not going to have a baby okay and they need to get a certificate of this eligibility certificate for this surrogacy and next one is couple should have been married for 5 years okay not less than 5 years we can't go for surrogacy and the surrogate mother has to be a close relative of couple so that we can go for altruistic surrogacy but not commercial surrogacy 
okay and even single man single men they are not eligible for this surrogacy so these are some important provisions of this surrogacy regulation act of 2021 and now let us try to see what is this petition in this delhi high court and some important constitutional provisions regarding this uh, surrogacy so that we need to understand so this will be important from your gs paper to under polity point of view so here context mainly says that in delhi high court a woman who is 31 years of age along with a male, male petitioner they mainly started questioning the marital status and even age or gender should be the criteria for prohibiting some ones from commissioning a surrogacy so to understand this first let us try to see some provisions of this surrogacy regulation act of 2021 so under this a married couple can opt for surrogacy only on the medical grounds and there is a banning of commercial surrogacy only we can go for this altruistic surrogacy and the law which mainly defines a couple as a married indian man and woman they have a prescribed age band of 23 years to 50 years for women and 26 years to 55 years for men they can go for this surrogacy and there is a age limit that is mainly prescribed in this act and the couple should not have their child of own so this is a one provision so if i have one child means i can't go for surrogacy so if i want to go for surrogacy means i should not have a child of my own though the law which mainly allows a single woman to choose surrogacy and she might be like a widow or a divorced woman they can go for surrogacy and the age limit for this type of women that is who are widow or divorced women here is 35 to 45 age and this act which mainly says that there is no surrogacy for this single men so single men they are not eligible for going for this surrogacy okay so if you see what is the case here so the case here is 31 years woman okay she already the mother of 9 months old she mainly says that yes i want to have a second child okay second child is very helpful for the uh, well being of uh, first child so there is a necessity of this ch second child but what happen whenever she want to go for pregnancy of her own then she feels it is a very very hard and she says that second pregnancy which is mainly scaring me so to navigate my pregnancy my first child so my house is just not conceivable at that moment okay so she want to go for surrogacy part here this surrogacy act which mainly says that which mainly says that here woman who is having a, her own child they cannot go for surrogacy and if you see the second petitioner that is a male petitioner he is about 32 years 32 years old single man says that so this law which mainly denies freedom freedom given for the men under the constitution of uh, under the constitution to exercise our reproductive choice because they are not if they are not married whenever they are single means they can't go for this surrogacy so if we are talking about the details regarding this petition everything so a petition which is mainly filed before this delhi high court challenging this exclusion of a single man and even women who is having a child from this surrogacy and they demanded for decriminalization of this commercial surrogacy so the petitioners they mainly challenged their exclusion from availing of surrogacy under this assisted reproductive technology regulation act of 2021 and surrogacy act of 2021 so this petitioner who mainly argued that personal decision of a single person okay petition argued that a personal decision of a single person about the birth of baby through surrogacy okay so it is a right of reproductive autonomy and the right of privacy is also violated okay which are mainly guaranteed under article 21 of indian constitution and next one is the right to privacy of every citizen or a person to be free from unwarranted governmental intrusion into the matters which are fundamentally which are mainly affecting a decision to bear or to beget a child and if we are talking about provisions of the surrogacy regulation act of 2021 so woman who is a widow or divorced woman so if they want baby so she can go for surrogacy between the years of uh, 35 to 45 years okay or a couple they can go for this surrogacy and they need to show yes there is a medical condition which is a necessary option that you have to submit and it also bans commercial surrogacy so whenever we are going for this commercial surrogacy it is a punishable act and the jail term here is 10 years 
and a fine up to 10 lakh rupees as well and this law which only allows altruistic surrogacy means here we need to spend only the expenses for the medical thing and next one is we need to provide some insurance for the woman during this pregnancy that's it so where no money exchange hands where surrogate uh, surrogate mother is genetically related to those who is seeking a child so surrogate mother should be also a close relative so these are the provisions here that you have to remember and now let us try to see next topic it is regarding housing scheme lacks in urban areas so this article which is mainly talking about pradhan mantri awas yojana so in this pradhan mantri awas yojana we have two components so one is rural and next one is urban component so this article is important from your gs paper to under governance point of view where we will study about policies programs and schemes of government so now let us try to see this topic in a very great detail so this program which is a flagship program of our prime minister that is pradhan mantri awas yojana gramin so under this program we are mainly having aim of constructing houses in rural areas okay so recently if we are talking about completion rate of houses under this pradhan mantri awas yojana which mainly reaches 67.72 percentage and if you are talking about urban urban component just 50 percentage of this houses have been completed that means when we are comparing with this rural and urban so there is a lot of lag that is mainly seen behind so if we are talking about some facts regarding this pradhan mantri awas yojana gramin so it mainly launched by ministry of rural development so this is very important an important aim of this uh, scheme it is to provide housing for all and the target here here is like 2022 so by 2022 so here we need to reach reach the uh, achieve the object of housing for all by 2022 okay so this is one important thing actually this came which mainly restructured in restructured in april 2016 so if you're talking about objectives of this pradhan mantri awas yojana rural it is mainly focusing to provide pakka houses and those houses which should have some basic amenities to all rural families who are homeless or living in kacha or dilapidated houses by the end of march 2022 so this is important objective and apart from that it is also focusing to help rural people who are mainly below poverty line people okay below poverty line people in construction of dwelling units and even upgradation of existing unserviceable kacha houses etc and if you're talking who are the beneficiaries under this scheme so people who are belonging to the scheduled caste scheduled tribes they are mainly freed from this bonded labors and non-scheduled caste and as well as scheduled tribes also they will be beneficiaries okay and even widows and as well as the next of kins of defense personals they also coming into picture and even ex-servicemen retired members of this parliamentary houses disabled persons and minorities and if you're talking about cost sharing between center and state it is like 60 is to 40 percentage in plain areas and 90 is to 10 percentage in northeastern and as well as hilly states and if you're talking about this pradhan mantri awas yojana urban component so it is mainly launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. So this you have to remember. And if you are talking about features, it is mainly focused to uh, focusing on addressing of uh, urban house shortage. So especially urban poor people, including uh, slum dwellers, they are mainly need this pakka houses. And next one is mission covers entire urban area, which mainly consisting of statutory towns, notified planning areas development authorities special area development authorities industrial development authorities etc and all houses under this pradhan mantri awas yojana urban they have basic amenities like toilets water supply electricity and as well as kitchen so this mission which mainly promotes women empowerment as well because it is providing ownership of houses okay in the name of female members okay and next one is preference is also given to differently abled persons senior citizens, scheduled cash, scheduled tribe and as well as OBC that is other backward classes as well. Okay, so this is about this topic. And now let us try to see next topic. Title says monkey pox virus mutates at a higher rate. So this monkey pox is seen highly in news 
already we discussed about signs and symptoms and the causative organism and mode of transmission and we discussed about even vaccines regarding this monkeypox virus right so now we are going to see the rate of mutation in this monkeypox virus so this article is important from your science and technology point of view which mainly comes under your gs paper 3 if you see context it mainly says that as of june 1st 2022 over 550 lab confirmed monkey box cases and these cases they are reported from 30 countries so according to the data which is released by this world health organization so if you see details it mainly says that these countries they are predominantly in europe and as well as north america so with 190 cases as on may 30 the outbreak which is mainly seen in uk okay and later on spain portugal and there are some other countries also they are reporting large number of this monkey pox cases so who once again stressed that there are large number of cases they are detected in more than two dozen countries within a very short time span so here this who which is also having some idea regarding whether whether there is any undetected transmission of some time is happened or not so here this article which also says that two rave parties in Belgium and Portugal they have turned as a super spreader events. So in the super spreader event, so the virus will be transmitted to large number of people. And next one here is so this article which also says that however there are some cases they are reported that they do not have any epidemiological link to these rave parties. So they do not have any travel history to countries in Africa or even they do not have any contact with other people as well but they got this infection and if you're talking about mutations there are about 47 mutations in the virus genome they are mainly based on analysis so based on analysis they said that about 47 mutations are mainly seen okay and 47 substitutions are mainly seen in the span of just three to four years which is a very very large number and this monkeypox virus is considered as a zoonotic disease that means it will be transmitted from animals to humans for example monkey and some ex uh, examples or rodents to humans okay and we are also saying there is a limited human to human transmission and this long branch may evidence that adaptation to humans have happened and that led to human to human transmission now we are observing that so next topic it is regarding one interesting thing that is Neptune and Uranus. So I hope you might have seen the different colors of our planets, right? So Earth is blue and green color and uh, Mercury is gray color and Jupiter will be having the shades, right? And if you're talking about Uranus and Neptune, they are blue color, but the shades are very different. Uranus is light color and Neptune will be like a dark color. So what is the reason for the different colors of Uranus and Neptune? As you all know, Mars is red in color. Okay, so there are eight planets, right? So you're having different colors. So now let us try to see this topic in a very great detail. So if you see context, it mainly says that Neptune and Uranus, they have much in common. So they have similar sizes and they are having similar masses and atmospheric conditions atmospheric compositions also very much same if you are comparing with uranus and neptune but their appearances they are in different shades of blue so at visible wavelength neptune which is deep rich azure blue color and uranus is distinctly pale shade of cyan so if you see this image so this is uranus and this is neptune and now you can see the color of this uranus and neptune on the screen so why why that why there is a change of color even though they are having similar mass similar size and similar atmospheric conditions so if you see here haze haze which is present around this uranus which is very much thicker than compared to that of neptune so this is one of the important reasons for the different color of uranus from neptune so without haze either planetary atmosphere astronomers they believe that both planets are almost equal or almost identically blue so why this haze which is mainly thicker on uranus 
so there are three aerosol layers okay one two and three and this middle layer which is mainly responsible for this color of uranus and the middle layer of haze particles that is thicker on uranus than compared to that of neptune so both planets they will having methane ice condenses into particles in this in this middle layer okay so because of this haze which is high in uranus compared to that of neptune that led to the pale blue color of this uranus okay so this is about this topic and next topic is satellite or star so in the summer days okay if you recall your childhood memories in summer you might be sleeping on your ter terraces or outside of your houses so at that time you will be looking at a different stars which are present in the sky and sometimes we used to count the stars as well okay in our childhood so now there will be one dilemma with our next generation children that if they are seeing a star or a satellite so they do not have clarity regarding whether it is a star or a satellite so why because we need to know about the starlink project of internet of spacex so now let us try to see this topic in a very great detail so this will be important from your science and technology point of view which mainly comes under your gs paper 3 So, if you see the context, which mainly says that astronomers they were worried about impact of satellites, or we can say like mega constellations such as space link, star link, internet network. So, there are thousands of satellites which are already present around our Earth in different orbits, like low Earth orbit, middle Earth orbit, and as well as high Earth orbits. So, now there are some plans which are mainly seen regarding launch of tens of thousands of for these satellites into our space in the low. at orbit so if it, if that happens at the same latitudes okay then what happen so stars visible to be uh, to our naked eye so in the same way satellites will also go into visible and we need to differentiate we need we need to differentiate whether it is a satellite or a star so we are talking about what is a star link project so it is nothing but it is a satellite based broad band network So it is a satellite-based broadband network, and important object of the Starlink project it is to provide low-cost satellite-based broadband network, and this network which is having the capability of delivering internet access to entire globe with a very low cost. And while the satellite internet has been around for ages, so it has been generally suffered from high latency. and even we will be having some unreliable connections as well so with this starlink projects they are mainly putting a constellation of satellites into this low earth orbits and this satellites they are going to provide high speed cable like internet and they are going to launch about 4425 satellites into an orbit okay so this is about this topic and now let's try to see yesterday's question the first one it is the authority to declare an area to be scheduled area rest with the rest with president not governor and next question is regarding finance commission of india so it is a quasi judicial body yes it is constituted by parliament every that is every fifth year that is not by parliament it is by president you can eliminate this it ensure transparency it is not at all regarding that and next one is the specific grants for welfare of scheduled tribes it are based on the recommendations of this finance commission yes so that option will be 1 and 4 that is option 3 is correct answer and today's question so before saying that uh, let me say importance of this study today is june 5th and this is the world environmental day every year we are celebrating this world environment day on june 5th and this year theme is only one earth and what is the speciality of this year so we have one speciality and you can connect this speciality with our upsc mains so your 2022 is a historic milestone as it marks 50th 50 years since 1972 stockholm conference so you have to refer some facts regarding the stockholm conference so i am expecting there will be some question regarding the stockholm conference in your prelims and even in your upcoming mains so please be prepared with this stockholm conference for your mains and now let's try to see today's questions the first question is regarding article 263 which mainly talks about interstate council and next question is regarding federal spirit okay so please try to see the statements you are given and give me the correct option in the comment box and now i want to make a small announcement on this platform so we in rathods as we came up with this mains answer writing practice course 
and this course it is for one year so in this course we are giving you detailed weekly targets and based on that weekly target we will be giving you daily one question and you have to write answer and you have to send your answer pdf to our email id so that there will be evaluation and after evaluation we also give, going to give you model answer in a pdf format and later on if you have any doubt so there will be one to one mentorship regarding this course and the cost of this course is 7200 and the duration is one year so apart from this mains answer writing course so we also launched a foundational course in our rathors as academy for 2023 and 2023 2023 and 2024 so you if you want to take you can take through our website or if you want to get pen drive you can also get pen drive and the cost of this foundational course is just 60000 rupees with a validity of 2 years and these are updated videos and the recordings are still going on regarding some subjects so this course is very very useful and the cost of this foundational course is just 60000 rupees and if you want to watch demo videos you can visit our website rathorsisacademy.com and there you can register with our with your email id and you can watch three demo videos in each and every module which is of free of cost and after watching the demo videos only you can go for purchasing of courses and if you have any doubt regarding these courses you can call me on this number 8074765513 and if you want to take single subject that means if you are weak in single subject like economy history geography ethics like that you can also take single subject as well okay and this is also whatsapp number and you can me on whatsapp as well and if you want to get the pdf of this today's class you can join the telegram channel link is given in description box and now let us see today's hindu pdf so this is our hindu pdf and date is 5th june 2022 and this is delhi edition so first article it is regarding center at to pay airlines for operation ganga evacuation so here you need to refer what is this operation ganga so i think many students they have been forget about this concept of operation ganga so this operation ganga it is for evacuation of indians from ukraine okay on account of this russia ukraine crisis and next article it is regarding corbevax gets this not as covid 19 booster dose so here you need to know what is this booster dose i explain you this concept number of times and you have to refer some facts regarding this corbevax so here if you see drug controller general of india has approved hyderabad based bio biological e limited covid 19 vaccine that is corbevax as this covid 19 booster dose so when we are taking booster dose after completion of this two dose of vaccines and we will be taking one more extra dose that is called as booster dose so this booster dose it is as a same like whatever the whichever the vaccine that we have had already been taken or it will be like a new vaccine okay so this is about this Corbivax and if you move further you can see with prices up a downshift in sales of entry level cards which is mainly seen so because of this increasing the price of these cards that led to decreasing of uh, demand and if you move forward you can leave this all these pages there is nothing much important and here in the states page page number five you can see this article which is regarding this mini proteins i explained this topic and if you move further in this page number six also there is nothing much important and in this page number seven you can see this operation blue star anniversary i discussed that topic in page number eight there is one article regarding this pradhan mantri avas yojana i discussed this topic and this surrogacy law which is also seen in this page number eight as well and in this world page there is nothing much important and this 10th page science and technology i discussed about this mutations of this monkey box virus and there are two articles that i didn't discuss from this page is inhaled vaccine to be more effective so as you all know this vaccines that we are mainly taken through uh, through our im route right so we are taking two doses of uh, vaccines through this im route and this article says that vaccines which can be like inhaled so they will be having more effective than compared to that of other forms of vaccine and next topic it is regarding emperor penguins so where we can see this emperor penguins that is in antarctica region so china to not uh, to china to not give advanced safety for this emperor penguins so china has blocked the efforts to make a step for the protection of this emperor penguins that are mainly having from threatens okay the uh, the important threats that are mainly faced by this emperor penguins because of global warming 
okay because of this global warming they are having they are mainly losing their natural habitats in antarctica so dozens of the countries they mainly back at giving some world's peng world's largest penguins special protection status at a 10 day meeting in berlin okay regarding this antarctic treaty but chinese they didn't give okay so regarding this you have to know some facts regarding this emperor penguins and i discussed the star temperature and if you move forward you can see here this article which mainly talks about uranus and neptune and if you move towards this faq page so there are some articles regarding this fpa that is foreign portfolio investments so i discussed this topic and even uh, you have to know about stagflation stagflation means nothing but there is declining of economy along with there is increasing of this unemployment okay so this is a one basic static concept that will comes under your economy and if you move forward this article which mainly talks about guidelines on this monkey pox already we discussed this topic number of times so these were some important articles that appeared in our today's hindu newspaper so by this i am concluding i hope you enjoyed this lecture so please subscribe to rathor's is academy and don't forget to like share and comment my videos thank you so much go to google and type rathor's is then you can see our website rathor science academy there you have to click on login or register in the blue color so if you have not registered yet you have to click on do not have account and fill the details you have to give your name email id your mobile number and password and finally you can click on this register button and once your details are filled then registration will be successful and click on okay and come back and click again on login and register and we have to log in now so after once you have log in click on the courses there you can see course list and in this course list you can see wide range of courses so you can see indian his indian society is he sat ethics international relations sa and if you buy all the courses then we will be giving access to all these courses like history economy geography and this is our mains answer writing course there you can see different batches are there and this is our prelims test series if you want to watch demo videos you have to click on play course and history will be having five modules so there if you want to see demo videos in that so and so part of history you can click on that play course and before payment you can see only three demo videos and after payment you can see all the videos will be displayed on the screen You will Hello be students. having Welcome settings to regarding IAS. quality and My also speed. You can adjust faculty. according to Today your requirement. Today in the part of the world history lectures, the most important topic history. in the world history of the UPSC and CSA exam that is the French next, Revolution. Let us try to see other subject, international relations. Click on play courses, and the same thing that will follows. Before payment, three demo videos. After payment, every video will be displayed on screen. and you can click on the play button then full screen and then settings so this will be follows to all hello all welcome to the lecture a very important topic we are going to cover up in today's lecture that is indo pacific every day in newspaper we are hearing this word indo pacific region and the important this is regarding polity and the faculty is shashwat raghu ma'am Hello and welcome everyone to Rathor Science. This is Shashwat Raghav, your Polity Faculty on this platform. We'll be basically covering our GS Paper Two, and we very well know in GS Paper Two we have governance, constitution, polity, along with social justice and IR. By me, your constitution, polity, and governance subjects will be covered. In GS, in UPSC side for GS Paper Two. only the subjects have been mentioned the governance constitution polity but faculties this is about economy so economy is taught by servants so these are some demo videos you can watch like this 
and economy is like 112 hours of uh, course friends from this class on what hi friends my name is sarvan kumar i am your economy faculty welcome to rathod's ias friends in this class we are going to study about the gross value added what is the meaning of this gross value added now under this we have three heads basic price right factor of and next is science and technology you can click on the video and you can click on play button and full screen welcome to rathod is going to the dna that uh, kind of bank is called as a dna data bank so you need to create a dna data bank at a national level okay where the information of all the uh, criminals okay all the suspects okay, So these are the number of courses that you can watch the demo videos and after once you watch the demo videos and after once you satisfied so click on the buy now button and after that you need to enter some details later on you can click on proceed and you can give your mobile number and also email id and finally you can use this razor pay payment system for the purchasing of these courses